Hello people, today we're going to talk about my best performing investments. So full disclaimer, I wouldn't call these investments, they're more of a flip as they are, as you saw, and you will see just singles. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go over what I bought, why I bought it, and especially how you can also try and perhaps learn something that you, you didn't know, or else just see a different point of view. So and in all, I'm going to show you what I bought, how it's performing, but most importantly, I will show you why. And I think that's where the, the key is, which doesn't mean I, I know the Holy Grail. Otherwise, if I knew that I knew, then I wouldn't be telling you if you know what I'm saying. If I, f I did find the old Holy Grail, I would most likely not be on YouTube. But what I did worked and uh, it's working and uh, perhaps you can try and check it out for yourself. Let's get started. So I'll get started with what is unarguably my preferred card so far in today's list. And as you can see, it is Iron Crown. Now, I will try to put up next to my face or somewhere a video showing the, the card itself as I bought four. Where are they? Right here. So I bought four of these bad boys. And uh, I mean, they're just, they're just they're just gorgeous. Hopefully by now you'll you'll have seen the video and uh, there's there's a detail which is obviously I don't know if, if I'll be able to, to show you. There's Iron Crown's high, which is blue with the correct lightning. It looks like um, a diamond, which is just just I mean, I don't want to say breathtaking, but it's just insanely gorgeous. So, I mean, you got to try it. There's the, the Groudon Eye, which is basically a mix. It, it reminds of the volcano behind it, of the 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 magma and stuff. But uh, Iron Crown just, it, it literally looks like a diamond. Anyways, enough. Uh, just me appreciating the, the artwork and the card itself, which is mainly, I mean, it's not mainly why I bought it, but it's part of why I bought it. And um, so price point I bought it at was 53 euros. Now, I already sold one copy. So for higher than that right now on as you can see on TG player, it is sitting at right below 80. It is a bit cheaper in, on the European side. It will it did get to 65 ish euros and now it's back to 60. So current market price is higher than what I paid for it. Why did I buy it? So it is, despite the fact that Raging Bolt, which is going to be the next one, as you can see on the list, despite the fact that this card is more expensive than this card, this card is, in my opinion, better looking. It has a better artwork than this one. Now, Raikou, you could argue, is a much more well-known Pokemon compared to Cobalion. Yes, it is the ancient and future version of the two, but after all, if you look at this, you think about Cobalion. If you look at this, you think about Raikou. Let's not lie to ourselves. So, that being said, doesn't a moon with a tree in front of it reminds you of something? If you know what I'm saying, I mean, I'm calling this the moon crown. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Now, I do have a special attack attachment towards black and white Pokemon because I grew up, I mean, uh, the, the era I remember the most is black and white. And I do have a full art Kabali myself. I, I mentioned it before previously on a few videos. So the reason I bought it is I think, and uh, before actually, before this became playable, I talked about the buyout in one of my videos, which I'll leave you to it if you want to. But uh, this was the chase card of a set. And I still believe that collectability wise, this one is the chase card. That's why I bought it. I did a research and a spoiler. The best performing cards are the chase card of every set. Now you can fact check me on it because I actually didn't do didn't do it for all sets. <laughs> Sneaky me. Uh, I'm uh, spreading misinformation. Sounds like I'm uh, being a real PokeTuber. Uh, <clears throat> but um, but yeah, I mean, it it is the chase card. It was the chase card. It has the potential to get back to being the chase card. And I bought it for a good price as well. I used a, 
let's call a strategy that we'll we'll take a look at throughout the video now raging bolt why did i buy it because it, the european market took a couple of days to price in the information that was playable so i bought it for 52 euros and then inspect up now right now it's sitting at 70 euros so i'm in the green and i was just quick enough to basically price and the ad additional data the additional piece of information of Reggie Ball being playable and uh, the market didn't wasn't quick enough so that's basically I mean it's not a good job Barrett uh, you foreseen you forecasted a shift of demand yes I did but uh, it was like obvious again unless you were in blind it was an obvious play now Metagross which I bought three copies um, this one is interesting because what happened was so first thing first this is a gorgeous card a, a, in person stunning I bought these for five euros each in the US as you can see the US market is already pricing these cards they bought them at 450 and right now they doubled so this all already made 100% move to the upside so if you bought here most likely you are selling here at least some of them so what happened was what happens in the European market is there are a few sellers with large supply once that supply dries out then it's the wild west basically it's it's the market dictating the price as long as those large sellers with 10 20 18 you can lot at least more than 18 cards at a time cards listed at a time once those are gone then uh, the market makes the price before that they are the price maker and we are price takers uh, these are common terms if you took any microeconomic class which i did and uh, if you're interested in this stuff consumer theory i highly recommend to um, look uh, you know do some research on uh, microeconomics and especially consumer theory now let's get to the interesting stuff and uh, i'll show you some interesting data and i'll show you how i forecasted this the Groudon. so i bought eight i sold four on the way up and i have four left these four and i'm up 100 percent on these bad boys now they are 60 dollars roughly 60 dollars you can see here in the european market they're still in the 40 mid 40s in the us so the moment they get to 60 I'm up 200% because I paid just above 20 euros for these and uh, stay just wait a second and I'm going to show you why I bought them and how I forecasted the whole thing and uh, same thing same logic that I use for the Groudons applied for the Altarius which I bought 5x as you can see here these also are very gorgeous in person um, I would put Iron Crown uh, number one, the Raging Ball is actually very nice, not nice artwork, uh, nice colors. I mean, they're all gorgeous, not gonna lie. Uh, Groudon, yes, very nice artwork, but I mean, put aside with Metagross. I don't know, man. Uh, for if I think this is only five euros, it was five euros and five dollars too, and this was 20. I mean, remember pull rates may do uh, play a role these is roughly twice harder to pull as this one don't forget about that as well as uh, um, these ones are pretty close this one is fairly easier easier than this one but they're really close I think uh, one out of 712 against uh, like one out of 780 then you add the error you can make so pretty much they're close uh, but uh, yeah those two actually um, temporal forces and paradox rift one uh, one out of 400 and something against one one out of 280 so maybe it's 400 and i don't remember if it's mid 400s uh, and this is a uh, high 200 so this is uh, harder to pull than this one hence the price difference uh, to begin with but uh, yeah those two so the juicy part why did I buy the Groudon and the Altaria and how I was able to profit now let me take you to the bot so if we take a look at my beloved bot which is available for free in the discord join the discord 
uh, as well as subscribe please it would really help it would be very much appreciated but that's not the point of the video the point of the video is this is the number of listing for Groudon in the European Union now I do this automatically you can do this in on TG player manually it's a pain in the ass but it works I mean I'm up 100% if I was in the US I'll be up 200% so it works this is supply supply is going down look at what price does does it moves higher now I lost a month worth of data because I'm a, I'm a complete idiot but I can assure you the number of gradients uh, back in end of April which is when I bought it were in the 100s and that's when price was in the low 20s and uh, what happened is and I will show you the Altaria to give you an example of what happens Altarius is in the 100 was in the 100s and as soon as supply starts drying up what happens to price so what happened to price was as you, you can see that the average lowest price was being stable while supply was going down that is my buy my buy signal it doesn't mean that I'm gonna just buy them it means Barrett go open car market look at the listings see what's happening so at that point what happened usually is the sellers I told you about the ones with multiple listings 10 12 18 cards per listing they're drawing out supply and as I said what happens is once that supply dries out then they're no longer making the price the market dictates the price and that's what happens as soon as they ran out boom price spiked now what happened here they got a restock those large seller got a restock that's why supply is back into the market but at this point what happened was they were 17 16 which is what I bought them at they moved up because supply was going down now the seller saw that the new market price was 25 as you can see here so they listed for lowest price which was 25 so the new market price now is 25 what's gonna happen is as soon as that supply dries out if there's still demand and if the supply dries out it means that demand is there price is gonna continue higher as simple as that now to that which is basically looking at the data and uh, I mean don't you're not looking at the car you're just looking at the data you can care less about what car you're looking at so that's that, that is called being objective you look and you see it's an Altaria and once you see it's an Altaria and you look at pull rates you combine all this inf information that's when you can start to make an educated guess so number one I look at the data I, I'm trying to be so by looking at this data I'm being objective I couldn't care less what car it was you can call me either investor blah 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 I'm looking at the data then I look at what car it is I look at pull rates I look at the set I look at the general demand what's the environment what Pokemon environment am, am I living with in that period of time are people buying and it's demand higher is demand somewhere else sold and shield singles those are all information all pieces of data that guide me that lead me towards an educated decision now can I lose money yes I can lose money in the process if someone tells you and today I saw a video of someone which has many more subscribers than me that's that said oh follow this simple strategy it will make you profit when I hear that my brain just commits suicide when I hear it will make you profit as in it will guarantee you profit then if it guarantees you profit why aren't you putting thousands of dollars in it because if it if it's guaranteed you know you're gonna make profit so if you say it's guaranteed why don't you just put hundreds of thousands of dollars in that strategy you're, you're mentioned I'm just saying guys keep your eyes open use your brain thanks for watching please subscribe I'll see you in the discord and I'll see you in the next one